This is a quick video walkthrough of my most recent Trillo editorial calendar board I use for my business. While I call it an editorial calendar, it's more of my content marketing hub. This template, along with a more thorough walkthrough of the workflow, is available in my new course, Trillo Workflows and Automations, if you're interested. The first list is Butler, um, which is just a third-party app that allows you to automate certain functions within your board, um, and that's really a central part of my new course. The first list is the editorial calendar, and this is just where I plan my content that's coming up. I have a few different cards. The quarter one is pretty much just a placeholder, and then I have some other ones down here. Um, I also have like month placeholders to kind of separate my information. I have a February blog post card, and this just gives me all the posts that I have in February. So I actually have a Butler set up. So when I move a card to published, it finds this card and then connects the two cards. So I can easily glance using this card what's been published in any given month. And then I have a couple end of month checklists. And then these cards are my idea cards or like kind of my posts coming up. And then I have February newsletter. And again, it's just um, a place to really attach what's been going on. Once my newsletters publish, I put a link here to them so I could easily come back to this card and see, okay, what did I talk about in February, for instance, um, with my email list? Um, it also links to folder, so there are all my drafts. If I had some drafts coming up, they would be in this card. And it also is set up to attach to certain opt-ins that I add to my opt-in list so that I can share those new opt-ins with my list at the end of the month. Um, and then I have one for Instagram, and this is truly just a card that holds all the information I need to do my Instagram. I might write up here a theme for the month or a focus for the month, but otherwise these just link to documents and programs I use to execute my Instagram. And the same for my Facebook group. So it's pretty simple, but it allows me just to come here and go down and reach all the resources I need to make those things happen. And then I have a scheduled list, which I'm catching up on content this week. So I don't have any already scheduled, but if I did, they would have been moved over here. And then I have a template card here that I use. So each time that I create a blog post, this card gets copied and it has a checklist of all the things that happen for a blog post, including promotions. Then I have my published list, and again, I have some placeholder cards that break it up um, by month. And I do have a content bank, but I like to keep my current year on my editorial calendar so I can quickly reference these and go through sharing them in various groups and different other places that I market my content. Then I have an opt-in board, and this, again, allows me to easily see kind of what's been used and, um, you know, what I might be able to use. It also links whenever a card gets like this label CTA, it links to that card um, within these so that I can easily see for this year all of the blog posts that have this particular opt-in on them. Content ideas, so these are just ideas that I've come up with that may turn into blog posts. They might not, and they're separated into categories. And again, I have some placeholders to kind of divide that, but I also use labels so I can easily search with that function. I have newsletter ideas. I have workshop ideas. I have guest post ideas or places I might guest post, or I do currently have guest posts. Clipped articles are all those things that I use the Trillo Web Clipper um, to save. So they might be articles I might want to use in a future post or, you know, just ones that I had ideas around. And then we have templates. So these are just my template cards 
so I don't lose any of my checklists or things of that nature. So they're cards that I use over and over again, either at the beginning of the month or whenever a blog post happens or a new opt-in happens. And you'll see on this card that it's actually linked to another board. Um, so I actually do have another board that holds all of the, all of the templates separately. Um, again, just to make sure I don't delete any of my checklists or anything, because if you delete a card and that checklist isn't on another card, it's lost. So this is just a way to kind of make sure that um, my information is saved. And again, I have some Butler set up that kind of helps facilitate that. And that is my editorial calendar.